federal judges have picked a new congressional map for Alabama with two black opportunity districts. That tops News 19 at 630. I'm Christine Killemeyer. And I'm Greg Screws. And this comes after the Supreme Court struck down the state's previous map for diluting black voting power by having just one majority black district. State Capitol reporter Maddie Deer Beer Temple has more. Judges say this new map gives black voters a second district in which they have an opportunity to elect their candidate of choice. Under remedial plan three, both districts seven and two are considered opportunity districts. Seven is made up of 52% black voters and two has 49%. The judges wrote that using the previous map could cause irreparable injury and said, quote, discriminatory voting procedures in particular are the kind of serious violation of the Constitution and the Voting Rights Act for which courts have granted immediate relief. House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels says he looks forward to seeing black voters better represented. We have to have someone with a voice that, that's going to give a voice to the to so many years to voiceless. Daniels says the map isn't perfect, but will provide for the first time a chance at two black Alabamians in the U.S. House of Representatives. It's not exactly the way we want it, uh, but it does give us an opportunity to be competitive in that particular race. According to the special master, a black preferred candidate would win 16 out of 17 times in District 2 and every time in District 7 under this plan. The biggest changes to the current map are in the southern part of the state in Districts 1 and 2. The plan puts District 2 Congressman Barry Moore in District 1, where Congressman Jerry Carl represents. It also creates county splits in Mobile. It's, you know, racially gerrymandered. I mean, if you come to Mobile County and look what I just looked at a few minutes ago, they split Pritchard. House Redistricting Committee Chairman Chris Pringle disagrees with the map. He says it breaks up too many communities to achieve a racial goal. We're going to look at the different counties that have been stretched and pulled and tugged on to, 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 to draw minority districts. Now, Secretary of State Wes Allen said his office will facilitate the 2024 elections with this new map. He said, however, the legal process isn't over and he trusts an Attorney General Steve Marshall to appeal. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.